Hello everybody, this is William Frisbee, welcome back to more Let's Play Paper Mario 2, the Housing Here Door, and the last part, we defeated the Shadow Sirens and got all the keys from that tower over there to unlock a secret hidden tunnel. In this episode, we're going to go down that secret hidden tunnel, and this is weird. When I started up this game, the Shadow Sirens had disappeared. Weird, ain't it? Anyway, going back down to the hallway that has now turned into a staircase, let's see where this takes us. Down, 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 down. All right, see what? Whoa, it's you! All right, this is the first time we're gonna be fighting whatever the heck these things were. I remember these guys being very tough. As you can see, they have two defense points, and their names are Dark Wizards. Okay. Like I said before, these guys are half machine, half wizard. Don't know how that is, but okay. I just realized I could have used the uh, Ultra Hammer and could have gotten more damage off of all the other opponents, but okay. Let's see, does this do more damage? No, it doesn't. Now, believe it or not, there are tougher versions of these guys. Oh, that's right, they can also boost your stats. I forgot about that. Now, I remember that there are uh -oh, very tough versions of these guys, and seeing as how these guys are like... Dude, the whole crap ton of damage to me already. Whoa! Seeing as how these guys are much tougher than I expected, I completely forgot just how powerful those other things were, because there is another tougher version of these guys, and I don't remember where they are. Though, I do know they're in the pit of 100 trials, and I'll get to those guys later whenever I feel like it. And what are you doing? Oh, great. Not this. How am I gonna get to these guys? Let's see, I could use a shooting star and I'll get rid of it. I don't really have anything else I could. You know, I never really use these. Huh. Let's see. Uh, for the time being, I'm just gonna use a sh slow shroom. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and use a bomb on Blast, even though this is kind of wasting it, just so I can kill one guy. You're kidding me, he was right there! Oi. Well, I got 15 star points, so... Hip hop raw. Alright. I got maple syrup out of that. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, Thunder Rage. I gotta use something. Alright, I'm going to have to fight this guy, so I'll be back in a second. Alright, we're back. And that was a really annoying fight because that guy kept repeating himself. I think. That's the word for it, but whatever. I'm going to have to blow this out so that we can get the secret passage. Now this maze is going to basically incorporate all the stuff that... It's basically going to incorporate all of our partners, except for Bella. Unless you really need help, then I guess she would help. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, that's basically all this areas for is to test to see if you know how to use your partners, and that's basically it. Now, this area might actually take two videos. I kind of actually hope it does, because I only plan to record two episodes today, and speaking of which, yesterday I didn't really up record anything or upload yesterday because I was dead tired from uh, having a really bad night of sleep, so I apologize for that. But moving along, forget which one I'm supposed to hit, but I'm going to hit both of them just in case. Let's see, does this do anything? Hmm. Let's see, I'm going to get the yellow one. What? what was I saying a second ago? Oh yeah, I was saying that basically I was hoping that um, this would take two videos because I only plan to record two videos today. And after I... After this maze, a bit of a spoiler here, we're going to have to uh, fight pretty much a boss gauntlet. Not exactly a boss. Not like all the bosses that we fought previously, just like a few bosses here and there that we've fought before. There we go. Er, no, a few bosses that we haven't. Okay, this is getting really hard to explain, but basically... What am I saying I'm trying to say? Um... Wow, I can't believe I'm having such a hard time thinking. Uh, brain fart. 
I think it's because I'm paying attention to two things at once, like usual. Anyway, doing that, and there we go. I think if I do this, and... There we go! I got it. The reason why I want this to take two videos is because of the fact that if I go to the boss gauntlet right now, I would have to grind to a... Fail. I want to have to grind till I get to like uh, 80 star points before I fight the bosses because if you get a level up in between the bosses, you would actually be able to um, stand a better chance. And the first boss is kind of difficult, kind of not. It's really dependent on who you are as a player, I guess. And to be perfectly honest, I'm not exactly sure if we're halfway through this maze yet or not. Whoa! See, I'm trying to remember exactly where we are here. Whoa. Gonna have to fight this guy, so we'll be back in a minute. Alright, we got a level up from that. That's great. That's exactly what I wanted. But that means I'm gonna have to work my way up to back to 80 if I want to get to that boss cone without getting too much damage, so crap. Oh, anyway. BP. Upgrade. And I realized, I just now remembered I don't have enough. Eh. I haven't changed my badges yet, so I'm gonna have to do that really. Ooh. What's in the badge? Or, what's in here? Shooting star and the stopwatch I don't need. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna see what badges I can get equipped really quick. This might actually take a second. Alright, here are the badges I have equipped after doing going through those. I have piercing blow, damage dodge, two pretty luckies. Hopefully the power will stack. Peekaboo, HP plus, feeling fine, which will make me need to do poison poison and dizziness. That'll be pretty good. And the and uh, defend plus, which will increase my defense plus one. So, hopefully, if I get another BP upgrade, I can get a few more uh, other goodies attached or whatever. Let's see, I don't remember. Oh, that's right, that's how I get that. I was trying to remember exactly what that was for. The way that you solve this little thing right here is that we throw a bobbery. And. Voila! Okay. Oh. Hi. And we're back. Oh, don't need that power punch. Um, see this right here? You'd want to remember this little sequence right here of lit up stars. It's one, three, four, six. Remember that. One, three, four, six. One, three, four, six. Alright, remember that because it's going to be very important in the next few minutes or so. And this is another mo moment where that really smart guy messed up, but I'm not going to blame him for it because, well, it was understandable. Let's see. I'm going to have to save here really quick. See, I still have a few more minutes before I actually probably should stop this, which is a good thing. And now I'm kind of... Oh, there we go. I was trying to remember exactly where that key was, and there it is. Lucky. Didn't have to think too hard about that. One, three, four, six. Remember, it's a good idea to repeatedly remind yourself of that because it is going to be very important in a minute, and you really don't want to have to backtrack just so you can look at that again. Now, what's in here? I wonder. Ooh, life room. That's really important. I don't think I've covered this yet, which is kind of sad, really, considering that this is a really important item. So, uh, let's see. Probably be a good idea if I use one of my items right now, just in case. I think I'm going to use this. No. Actually, probably not. Um, let's see. Huh. I guess I will use that golden, golden leaf because I really don't need the any of these items. The life room is really important. It will prevent you from dying, essentially. Let's see. Dip. Yeah, there we go. Alright, here we go. Here's where we're supposed to put in those things. Really? There we go. Alright, see here. One, three, four, six. Ding dong, I am winner. What? And I unlocked something a little bit further ahead. I think that probably caused that wheel that we were on a second ago to start turning, which is a good thing. Make it sound like it's a bad thing. Not like it can be. So I'm going to save here again, just in case. It's 941 on the thing, I guess. Yep, I was ready. Started turning the wheel. Now that I think about it, I think we actually are really close to the boss, which is kind of sad considering I wanted to actually record more than one episode today. But I really don't want to have to fight those bosses just yet, or at least I don't want to have to um, fight them with 
as few star points as I have, because if I want to fight them at my best, I'm going to have to make sure that I get this level up. And yeah, that didn't really show any signs that we could do that, but yeah, there we go. And we haven't seen this in a while. I think if we stand on this, we can, yep, get that, which I don't really care too much for. Hey, I said I don't care too much for. Get a coin right there. Let's see. Oh, yes, this really does... Ow. This really does seem like the kind of place where, um... The end will be. Let's see what's through this door. If it's... Yep. This is actually the last room, I think. See here, what we're going to be doing here is just going to be flying down and getting a key somewhere around here. Then after we get the key, we go down to the very far right, and there's a door that we unlock, and that will take us to the Battle Gauntlet, so to speak. So, yeah, we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> they always do that for some stupid reason. Well, he's dead, so that doesn't matter. So I'm coming up on 12 minutes, but I'm thinking I might as well just keep going because I'm so close to the end anyway. It's going to be kind of stupid for me to just stop here. All right. Now, if I remember correctly, this is where we're going to have to ride Yoshi to that little block before it goes away. This is the only way that you can do this. It. Turn it. Didn't know that there was a gap there. That was mean. And kind of weird. All right. Don't fail me now! Yes! There we go. And we did all this for a key. Right. And now take us to that door that we need to go to in order to get to um, the bosses. And that will probably be where I'll stop the episode unless something happens. That, whoa. See, there's a live shroom. And I can tell that's going to be one of those lightning bolt things. Wow, I can't believe I forgot the Thunder Rage. There's a Thunder Rage and a Life Shroom up there. I don't really know if I really care about them right now. So I probably should get the Life Shroom. So let's see. Darn it! Okay, I'm going to cut to where I get to the uh, Life Shroom because it's probably likely that it's going to take me a minute or two. And considering that... Oh, never mind. Just going to cut in here so back in a minute. Alright, got it. Get rid of the repel cape because that is really kind of crap in my opinion because the computer is a cheating bastard. Just like every other computer game I've ever played. So anyway, now we can go all the way to the door. All right, flying, 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 and there we go. Open this door and... I was right. See this area right here? This is not where the bosses are going to be, but this is the last room before we actually fight the bosses, and I think there's a... Yep, there's a save lock right there, just like I needed it. Alright, so this will be probably the best place to stop, because in the next episode, this is a bit of spoilers, but might as well mention anyway, because you'll be kind of wondering what's going to happen. In the next episode, we're going to be fighting some bosses. I'm not going to spoil who, though I'm pretty sure you can probably figure out for yourself. And meanwhile... I'll, off screen, I'm going to be grinding for about 80 star points or so. And that will pretty much be it. So, I'm Liam Frisbee, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. And I apologize if I sound very tired today.